The truth must be exposed. DNA is a double-edged sword that makes Megan extremely worried. Has anybody confirmed any worrying news regarding Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana today? You know, it wouldn't shock me if when push comes to shove for Megan and Harry to actually provide some DNA samples and real birth certificates that were witnessed by physicians and a few more witnesses too, not fake copies, not fake documents, but the real thing, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear that something horrible happened to the children. Honestly, folks, I wouldn't be surprised if when Megan has to provide real proof that the kids are either from her body or from a surrogate, and if from a surrogate that they are legally adopted with all the documentation that would stand in a court of law, then in an attempt to weasel her way out of a very difficult situation, knowing good and well that she can never meet these requirements, Megan's going to announce that there's been some horrible catastrophe and the children have passed away. Just think about it. If Megan claims that the kids died somehow, she's going to believe that's going to keep the wolves at bay. But of course it's not going to. A death announcement is only going to make her and Harry's problems worse. If she tries that, she is going to have to provide actual death certificates with the signed coroner and physicians as witness, and it will have to confirm the deaths and the cause. And there can't be any weird forgery either. Their certificates have to be authentic. And because they can't think very well because they use too many drugs and they drink too much, they're going to be feeling around in the dark for a quick fix to a complicated mess that they created. But they're only going to make matters worse for themselves. And you know what? Serves them right. I hope it doesn't come to this, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is exactly what it comes to. Megan has already proven herself to be a liar time and time again. The New York City paparazzi car chase, for example, that never happened, is once again proof that if Megan and Harry say something, 100% it is a lie. The more they lie now, the sooner they get busted for their lies. Because nobody can just accept anything they say at this point. Both of them have such a long, proven track record of lying and having their lies found out again and again and again. But they don't learn from their mistakes. They just dust themselves off and lie again, coming back for even more punishment. Is that not considered insanity? Now, I haven't talked a lot about this because I thought that maybe it was too strange, maybe too crazy to even contemplate. But I've wondered what these two would do if push came to shove and they finally had to produce the real children with both Markle and Windsor DNA with paperwork and witnesses to support it. I do not believe those children exist. And in order to eliminate them, I would guess either they're going to make up some kind of elaborate kidnapping plot gone wrong, or they'll say that some evil person murdered the kids. This would fall pretty well into Harry's little crusade about their lack of security, and also their relentless victimization by the royal family. And they would probably get some sympathy for themselves from the public, because who is going to want to harass parents in this kind of unbelievable mourning? And then Harry can just sit back and say, well, I told you so to his family. Now, this kind of trick would require some type of long game plan, which may have begun even before Artificial was born. That would do a lot to explain all the secrecy, all the strange behavior, starting with Megan's pregnancy, the children's birth, and the strange disappearances, too. So perhaps the near-catastrophic car chase was some kind of practice drill. Who knows? I know, it sounds a little insane, but just look at who we're dealing with. The thing with narcissistic, antisocial people like them is that there is no level of ridiculousness that is too extreme. There's no lie that they consider to be too extreme. And why? Because they believe themselves to be the smartest people in any room. And more importantly than that, they believe that everybody is not only dumb, but absolute idiots. This audacity does give them some time to create a big mess because logical, reasonable people in the beginning may react with incredulity. But these types are simply creating their eventual downfall the whole time. Now I think how they choose to write the children out of the story could go a few ways. They could succumb to a tragedy, how convenient, or maybe they're going to be buried under the tree along with that box containing who knows what after Megan's alleged miscarriage, or maybe they're going to hire some actors to wear blankets over their faces like Michael Jackson's children, for privacy naturally. And I know it seems insane, but their whole lives are insane. They just jump from one lie to another, and the whole time they're only digging their hole a lot deeper, and the circle their lies make just causes them to desperately require long-term commitment. 
When the current lie doesn't work out well for them, well, then they make up another one to refute the previous lie. It's astounding to think how many times they have contradicted themselves, and they still hope that their lies will finally be believed. But they're just beating a dead horse, because once they have proven themselves to be liars, nobody is ever going to trust them or believe them again. People know that they're lying every time they open their mouths. And that recent story about the New York City car chase that never happened is a great example, but there are many others too. The thing is, it's just an incessant and ever-changing confabulation and distortion from those two. And if the kids are real, if the kids are really their children, then they've got to give some proof of that. Not that same old photo of Lily Bed in that blue dress or the different photos of Archie that don't make any sense. It's time that we hear from the doctors or the midwives who delivered the children. It's time that we see the signed birth registers by these doctors. We need to know about the DNA. We need photos of the children with their parents. Now, normally I know that would sound a little too intrusive, but after all this time, we need some real evidence for the people of the UK and the Commonwealth. Because what is the point of keeping these children hidden all the time? I mean, even Michael Jackson, who was really paranoid about privacy for good reasons, took his children out. I mean, they had to wear masks, but still. If Harry and Meghan could produce the children, then you know it would be an absolute media frenzy, and then eventually it would calm down. They could easily arrange a nice family photo shoot for a lot of money, actually, and they could give that to charity. And that would make them look a lot better. You know, I would be the first person to apologize if we find out the kids are real. People are sick of Megan, and we wish that she would just give up and go away. But see, she cannot let go of her dreams of fame and fortune. She wants to be the center of attention. It doesn't matter what Megan says and what she's doing, whether it's trying to transform herself, trying to refashion her image, trying to write a book of her own, trying to revive her blog, or appearing with her friend Gail King on her chat show. We don't care how many awards she receives that she bought. We don't care if she's partnering with Doria going forward in a split with Harry's pursuits. The point is, people don't care anymore. Nobody wants to know about her. Nobody's interested. And really, nobody is even interested in those children. I mean, we don't get to see them ever. And it doesn't seem like Harry and Meghan are very interested in being parents anyway. And I know it would take a really sick individual to fake a kidnapping, but Meghan Markle is a really sick individual. Now, I thought some time ago that maybe she would do that, because if she claimed that they died, then she would require a doctor to sign a death certificate. Kidnapping would be the best way for Megan to save face, because all of a sudden, the invisible children disappeared. And then, boy, is she going to expect sympathy. It's a surprising situation that I think some of the royal family are aware of, but they simply do not know what to do. They feel like their hands are tied. And I hope that Meghan can be exposed for all the lies, and Harry too, he's just as bad as she is. For their own reasons, of course, the royal family is keeping mum in all of this. If such a scenario were to happen, there would be no sweeping it under the rug. There would definitely be an investigation to see if there is any real evidence of these invisible children, and of the circumstances surrounding their disappearance. I don't believe that either Megan nor Harry or their minions are smart and sophisticated enough to really set up fingerprints and DNA and everything else they would have to do to prove that these kids were real. And if there is no evidence that they ever existed, well, how could there be a kidnapping? Eventually, the truth is going to come out. And you, do you agree with me? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you think my video is useful, remember to like and share it with anyone else who would enjoy it too.